around and what he can do. I mean, we know he's a talented guy. It's just going to be those little intricacies of the offense and running routes and things that we want him to do and understanding that and the different pitchers and coverages that can play and how you run your route based on what they're giving you. Those are the things he's got to learn. It is true, number one. And, and let me tell you why it is true, because I'm all I'm I'm for all the hard work and the extra. I'm all here for that. I love it. But he also has to learn part of Najee and getting to know Najee in the draft process is he also has to learn how to give himself breaks too. And he works his butt off. And sometimes it's a reward, like, hey man, go home, relax, you know, watch TV, do something different than football. And so with him being the kind of guy he is and so engaged and always after and always wanted to do drills and always wanted to be developing, sometimes I'm trying to help teach him. Sometimes you got to take a deep breath. Um, so, yes, that is true. Um, um, the second part of that is, you know, what do I see? I mean, it, it's crazy because I don't have to coach any of it with him. You know, most of the time, and, and I'm going back my entire career, you, you encourage guys like, hey, man, come in, get extra tape, come in, do extra work, et cetera, et cetera. Have not had to have one single conversation with Najee in that regard because he's always soaking it up and always wanting it. So, um, that's a coach's dream. I mean, that's what you want. 